Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a Thanksgiving card inspiration for you. Some of the product I'm using for my card today includes the Thanksgiving table stamp set and also the matching dies and also the Giving Thanks card. And this cuts in a complete card and here's what the die looks like. And I've cut that from White Nina cardstock and I've also made a Desert Storm top folding card. I'm inking up the Thanksgiving turkey with Tuxedo Black ink and I'm stamping onto White Nina cardstock. And I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I've die cut my turkey out using the Thanksgiving Feast matching dies for the stamp set. And these dies leave just a slight white border around the image so they cut in nice and close. I will be speeding up my video for the coloring process but I'll call out the Copic numbers as I go. I've chosen a grouping of some of my brown markers. So this first one is E31 and it's the lightest color I'll be using. And I'm just going in areas where I kind of want the lightest colors to hit, like the side of the bird where it might be grabbing some light. The next color that I'm using is E33 and it's a little bit darker and has quite a bit more orange. And moving even a little bit darker, I'm using the E35 and I'm going just right next to it. As you can see, I'm trying to build up the darker color around the outside of the bird. And then finally, I'll be using the E37. And this one's quite a bit darker. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for blending, but I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around the outer edges of the bird. Once I get all my darkest color filled in, I'll go back in with the lighter colors, just moving backwards again. So once again, I'm grabbing the E35 and I'm going back over where that color was before and also the E37 and this will give me a little bit more blending. Right now it looks a little bit chunky, but keep with me, I'll keep working down. So once again, the E33, going back over those colors and getting some nice blending. And then I'll finish up with the E31 once again, the lightest color, and this will really start smoothing everything out. To finish off this image, I'll also be using W1 and W4 for the bottom tray for my Thanksgiving turkey. Now I'm using the little swirl image from the Thanksgiving table set, and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp white ink, and I'm just stamping right onto the background of my Desert Storm card. So I keep my paper there or my giving thanks card there in place so I can get a good idea of where I want my next image to go. I've stamped a little banner and I've also used the matching die for that and I've used the cobblestone ink also from Simon Says Stamp and I've also silver embossed Happy Thanksgiving. To finish things up I've wound some thread around my hand and put it onto the card and then mounted my turkey with some foam squares. I hope I've given you some card inspiration and happy Thanksgiving everyone. Thanks for watching.